The Meccan people, they were pagans. They used to worship idols. And around the Kaaba, there used to be 360 idols that people used to worship. Anyone liked an idol will bring it. And uh, one of the Meccans by the name Amr ibn Luhai was the first to introduce the worship of idols into Mecca. He dug out some of the statues that used to be worshipped uh, at the time of Prophet Nuh السلام, And when the flood came, they were all drowned. He dug them out and he brought them to the Kaaba. And people started taking them as means of approach to worship them in order to bring them closer to God. And this is how they ended up violating the entire command of Allah to Prophet Ibrahim. If you remember, we said that in Surah Al-Hajj, Allah the Almighty said to Ibrahim alayhi salam, أَلَّا تُشْرِكْ بِي شَيْئًا وَإِذْ بَوَأْنَا لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ أَلَّا تُشْرِكْ بِي شَيْئًا You shouldn't and you shall not associate with me any in worship. And you shall purify my house for those who are performing tawaf, those who are standing in the prayer, bowing down or prostrating themselves. So they ended up uh, worshiping idols. That's why Allah the Almighty sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa In the hadith, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, In Allah nadara ila nasi arabahum wa ajamahum fa maqatahum illa baqaya min ahli al-kitab. Allah the Almighty before sending Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa looked at all people and he abhorred them all. Why? Because they were all involved in worshiping other than Allah the Almighty with the exception of a few remained of the people of the scripture. Whether Jews or Christians who maintained monotheism, some of them. Then accordingly Allah the Almighty sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in order to revive monotheism.